All right. I'm Dale Hutchison. I'm a uh, shitty comedian from Lethbridge, Alberta. I could be the shittiest. I I don't know sometimes, right? This could be the shittiest thing you've ever seen in your life. Some of you guys are pumped. You're like, let's fucking make history here. There's comment cards. You can uh, fill them out and just write on there. Dale is shitty. And uh, come back next week. See if I've killed myself. Right? You guys look, uh, you look a little, some of you look a little bit young. Does anyone remember the CB radio? Anyone remember? A couple of you? It still lives in our memory, right? It's the CB radio. It was, for those of you that don't know what a CB radio is, that was a device back in the 70s, 80s. You could buy, uh, you could install it in your car, and you could you could talk to the other cars. You could run down to Radio Shack and buy a CB radio. I know a lot of you are looking at me like, what in the hell is a Radio Shack? Radio Shack in the 80s is where you bought the radio, right? Uh, it, it had radio in the name, so you knew what you were buying. It was right beside um, the video store. Blockbuster Video. There's three things you can Google tonight, right? Or you can ask that fucking AI thing and, you know, it'll give you the wrong answer. Yeah, you bought the CB radio, installed it in your car, and next thing you know, you had uh, communication and social media, like, all back in the 80s, right? That was way before, like, Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. Cool thing, if you're in trouble, you could call for, you could call for help. On your CB radio cell phone thingy, right? Frick a run on. I'm being sexually assaulted behind a red rooster. And your cousin, she would get all mad. Because you said that on the radio. It was uh, just a bit of kissing and stuff, right? Yeah, the CB radio was the shit in the 1980s. It was awesome. You would have loved it. In the 80s, if you had a baby, you could throw it in the back seat. <laughs> but that CB radio <clears throat> was bolted to the frame of the car. Because uh, you wouldn't want that thing, like, rolling around the seat and stuff, right? That's your talking thing. You need that. But that baby back there got, like, wiggly. You could just throw another baby back there. There was hundreds of them. It was the 1980s. They were cheap to have. They were just popping out. I've been trying to bring the CB radio back uh, for some time now. I have a CB radio and cell phone thing in the, my Honda that I drive like right now. And as I move about in the world, you know, I pretend to talk on this thing. 
I'm calling in 1980 and you know there's just no answer but I want you to see me talking right and he'd be like what fucking year is it right now right and you'll go home and you'll go on Amazon and you'll you'll buy one and you'll start you'll put it in your car install it in your car and we can talk right we can talk and I'm hoping we can all talk again and I'm hoping this catches on like in my town where I live in Lethbridge like that uh, everyone starts buying CDs because I told them to that and like CB madness will catch on and we will uh, be known not you know we can get known for something else and our city won't be you know people won't call us meth bridge anymore they'll call us like cb bridge bridge right we'll shorten it we'll call it the the cbbb right Okay, there was a couple of screw ups in there, right? But uh, maybe it could take. I'm uh, headed into instead of uh, uh, Lethbridge tomorrow, I'm headed into Calgary. I might just post this tomorrow or just to get that out there that I won't be at the Lethbridge thing. I have to, I'm, I'm booked in. Um, in Calgary at the laugh shop at the Blackfoot Inn and um, I'm not going to talk about the details of how we got on there it's just I, I don't know if it's a five minute set I don't know if it's a ten I don't have a lot of info all I know is I seen it on a poster that my friend posted uh, Les Fox he's also like a comedian and uh, he's also on the show in Calgary um, but I can't actually get a come from I didn't I'm pretty damn sure I'm on the show because if there was like a Dale Hutchinson In southern Alberta that was also a comedian who also was trying to get booked at that place chances are slim so I'm just gonna show up and if this guy's there I want to know like uh, who the heck he is cuz it's probably the guy that uh, screwed up my credit back in like 1992 when I had to pay for all those movies at uh, Blockbuster video for that Dale Hutchinson guy. So it's a I'm on a mission of like I'm gonna find out who this guy is. If there's a second comedian with you know a very similar name to me tomorrow at uh, the laugh shop, but uh, you can see it on my Facebook social media thing. I usually post before theirs or put it on there. Before the, before the show goes, so. Anyways, smell y'all later. I uh, that's the show for today, and we'll do the real show. I'll shoot it after this. Could be posted after this. It could be a new new way we do it. But uh, yeah. Goodbye. Switch to another show now. There's no, uh, there's no bonus track. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do it this way then. Okay. Okay, bye.